Today, I'm gonna to be changing a 10 inch tom head and doing a little bit of maintenance on it and then tuning it up. I'll show you how I do it. Hi, I'm Daryl Nutt and welcome to my channel. I talk about drums and music and video stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be changing the heads of this 10 inch tom doing a little bit of maintenance inside, basically tightening up the screws and taking a look at the bearing edges, and then I'm gonna tune it up for you. So first off, I have my screwdriver, drum tuning key, tension rods, two rims, top head, bottom head, which is an ambassador bottom clear and an ambassador coated, both Remo. And I have a little bit of sandpaper here this is a P1500, very, very extra fine, because I did feel on these bearing edges that there were a couple little, yeah, there's a couple little spurs, very, very small, but I can feel them. So I'm just gonna sand that down a little bit. Also, with the screwdriver, I went in and some of these lugs, they took a whole turn, so they were pretty loose. And there's actually links to these if you look in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you purchase any of these items, uh, a small percentage of that will go to me, and that helps support my channel, so I appreciate that. What I like to do is I'll start with the bottom head, put it on the drum, and I always like to stretch it out a little bit, give it a good, get the wrinkles out, get, the, get it stretched in a little bit. Put this on there. I'll fast forward this so you don't have to see me putting the lugs on, uh, the tension rods on. Okay, so I like to get these all finger tight, pretty even tensioning, and then I will just do a, a turn and go from opposite lug to opposite lug. And then once the wrinkles are out, you can actually start hearing some tone there. I'm gonna go a little higher here. Okay, this should be close to even. Now you can hear a tone difference here. And I'm just hitting the drum key right maybe a half inch away from the lug, uh, the tension rod. Now the, the lugs that are opposite each other, they actually do affect each other's tuning. So bring that up a little. See, I didn't even tune this lug. I tuned that lug. So that's kind of interesting. That's a good starting point for the bottom head. Now I like to do this on a surface um, that has got cloth on it, or sometimes I'll do it on my, on my knee um, because I only want to hear one head at a time. So here's the top head. So I'm just applying pressure there. Kind of stretch it out a little bit. And then we'll put the lug on here. I mean, the, <laughs> the rim, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. I just saying the wrong words. Okay, these are all even tensioning with the finger tightness. Okay, so now we we have a very low tone, finger tight. So let's do let's just do one turn on each lug. See what this sounds like. Again, I always try to make the bottom head a little tighter, a little higher, and that way you'll get a pitch bend effect with the toms. Boom, boom, boom. Sounds like old video game. If you like this video, please uh, like it, and comment below, and share it with all your drummer friends. And until next time, thanks a lot.